Hello and welcome to Web Design Fan Reviews. Today we're going to look at a great piece of software called Balsamic Mockups. Now this is a wireframing uh, software where you can create uh, layouts and interfaces for apps, websites, uh, and anything else that you can create an interface for basically. Uh, to start off, let's look at the interface. Obviously this is your canvas right here. Uh, up top you have uh, your control types, your elements. So they're categorized into things obviously uh, Let's see, let's get an iPhone. You have the iPhone, the iPhone keyboard, iPhone menu. You can do layouts, uh, you know, accordion style, tabs, vertical scroll bar. You can pretty much put anything you need into your layouts. It's, it's really a great tool. Uh, another cool feature is actually quick add up here. If you don't want to search all throughout this stuff, and I mean there are hundreds of these elements that you can pick, uh, you can simply go to quick add up here and let's uh, type something we want for a. Uh, purpose of this I'm going to do an iPhone so I select an iPhone uh, I drag it over here another thing I want to demonstrate for you is actually let's just go to the iPhone category so I can show you this I want to grab an iPhone keyboard uh, it's a drag and drop system if you drag from up here so that's really really uh, easy to use uh, let's just place it right in here kind of snaps in there and as you can see every every element has its own control panel that pops up when the element is selected so that's really nice because it allows you to do tons of things so you can undo uh, your last action uh, you know copy cut paste duplicate uh, delete obviously you can group elements which is really nice so uh, you know let's grab something else let's grab an alert box here and I'll, oops I didn't want to do that well whatever that's fine uh, it's an alert box here and I want to group it with the keyboard so what I would do is simply command click both of the items click right here and now they are one thing they are one element so let's get rid of that because I don't actually want the alert box anymore let's bring back another keyboard and I want to show you something cool uh, within the control panel you know uh, obviously elements will have different states so an iPhone can look like this sometimes but it can also have a side orientation so that has it built into the options right there it's really easy to to do that you can put background patterns uh, just really cool stuff that they allow you to do with just one click, which is nice. Uh, let's see, put the keyboard. Obviously, this keyboard doesn't fit, but look at that. It has an, it's uh, a separate state as well. So we do the wide keyboard. We place it right here. That's really nice. Uh, there are tons of features. You can also import images. Uh, actually, I'm just going to drag something off my desktop really quick. Uh, look at that. It's the Web Design Fan Club image that we use on the site uh, so you know you can bring that into a design it's really easy to bring uh, logos or whatever else you would need to present uh, you can export everything to a uh, ping PDF you can create templates with this uh, oh and a, another great feature you can go full screen here and this is really cool because it gives you this little arrow so during presentations to clients managers whoever you're talking to whoever you're presenting your ideas to you have this built in you can uh, you know pinpoint little uh, parts of of your uh, of your wireframe and talk about it that's a really nice feature so uh, basically overall highly recommended to designers and developers alike uh, it saves you time helps you brainstorm and uh, it's great for presenting your ideas. So uh, Balsamic, I guess uh, you would get two thumbs up in web design fan reviews. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you uh, got something out of this. And I will see you next time.